Namaste, Namaste everyone. So if I can just take a minute with three of you, just tell me a little bit about your practice and maybe anything I don't know, I need to know, like about knees, hips, back, anything that you think I should know before we start, oh, please. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, not really that much yoga experience. Yeah, same with Kerry, so just uh, pregnancy yoga. Mm -hmm. um, relatively flexible. Um, some issues with um, sciatica at times, so I won't lay flat, I'll lay on the, on the side. Okay. Take the pressure off. Mm -hmm. I, I'm completely naive to yoga, never done yoga before. Um, I'm definitely not as flexible as I used to be. Mm -hmm. um, like, I, I do get some sort of hip pain, um, and I have neck and sort of upper back problems and I think that's from my nursing career and um, when we used to move and handle people in a very different way when I started mm -hmm. um, so yeah but really looking forward to cool yes um, yeah I've not done very much yoga before so I'm not very experienced um, I have a bad shoulder but um, I, that, there's no reason for it it's just there. Um, I, I'm reasonably flexible, but sometimes find it difficult to get in and out of the positions quickly. Um, yeah, so that's it. Okay, so well, we will try to have a little bit of fun, and I guess anything that you three feel that you're not comfortable with, don't do it. And one of my really simple rule when you do your yoga practice, you know, especially we're talking about the heart yoga, the physical practices. If anything leads you into sore or burning pain, it's not good for you anymore, okay? Because then you will need more time to actually recover and heal yourself from it. Yes, there is when we're doing some stretching, some movement, there will be a little bit of feeling a bit of soreness or feeling a bit of tension, which is as a part of the process of, you know, building our flexibility and, and all that we hopefully we want to work on. So it's not, you know, it doesn't need to be always easy. It can be a bit challenging, mm -hmm. but the challenge should not lead you anywhere into more pain and injuries. So just be mindful and whenever you need to. Want to change? Yeah, it's okay. okay. Just so <coughs> Are you back in Keris? <laughs> Great. Yeah, so yeah, when we're doing the practices, if it gets to that point where it becomes a or a burning pain, you want to step out of it and you know do whatever you need to do to release it. So on that note, if you three are ready and comfortable, let's find a comfortable seat. You can just sit cross-legged, you can have your legs to the front, really however you feel comfortable. Holding your spine straight or erect and gently, softly close your eyes. Just to relax or to ease your spine, ease your body, ease your shoulders. Inhale and exhale, deep and conscious. One of my favorite practice in sort of great work you will do, where you are caring for people, you are offering your service, your help, to actually make a little space for yourself too. It can even be a few minutes throughout the day as and when you can. And whenever you take those few minutes, this is stepping away from all of this. It's trusting the universe, trusting yourself, trusting your organization. That you can switch off for a few minutes, it's okay. And in that moment, in those minutes, if you can, just pay a little attention to your own body. How are you feeling? How are you feeling throughout your own body? How are you feeling in your heart? How do you feel with your own spirit? Try to return to that sense of ease. 
but it's something even I experience so much that it is easy to look after other people even though it is hard work but actually when we look at our mind our attitude it's so easy to to give everything to other people the hardest practice is to give a little to ourselves so pay a little attention to your body pay a little attention to your breath and step away from all of it And then deep in your heart, try to feel love, feel abundance. Especially I'd like you to feel gratitude for all that you do, everything you do. Feel love and gratitude for everything that you do. as you're feeling love and gratitude, I'd like you to feel the softening of your heart. Softening in your feelings, softening in your attitude, where you can relax, where you can soften in your heart, the healing begins. Recharging or rejuvenation begins. So allow that moment to manifest Let go of thinking, let go of planning, let go of expectations. Just be, be with or within yourself. Letting go and surrendering in this healing space. Space of your own self, your own heart, your own spirit. Let's join our hands to our heart, Namaskar Mantra. Take your chin down to your chest. Keeping your eyes closed, or if you wish to, you can half open your eyes. Now I'd like you to feel you're just looking deep, deep within your own heart. And feel the touch, feel that connection with yourself. And then you rub your hands, your arms, feeling good to hold them up. And a gentle or soft or conscious touch all over your face, then your head, your neck and your shoulders. And let's gently and slowly open our eyes. Let's easily stretch our legs to the front if you like. Just to ease yourself. And 
And we just gently relax, relax, or eat, or bounce off what need. Taking a little moment, a little space. And then let's give it a really good shake to our legs. Wiggling off our toes, then flexing off our feet up and down. And then settling our feet. In one direction and then other direction. And again, bouncing off our knees, shaking off our legs. Let's catch hold on to our right leg and gently flexing our foot up and down. Just to breathe. Settling your foot in one direction. And then other direction. Good. And then catch hold on to your right foot. Let's stretch our leg. It can be slightly bent, it can be straight, and then swing open your leg. So we're doing the right hand and right leg. Same side to make it easy. So good. Yes. So you can do it. Just need a bit of time and enjoy. Great, and then release and relax. Change your side, left leg, gently flexing your foot, just to easing into your ankle joint, and then rotating in one direction, and then other direction. Lovely. Let's get hold on to our foot, stretch your leg as far as you can go, and then swing open. You can keep your knee a little bent like me, that's fine. If you feel comfortable, you can try to stretch it straight. And let's try to breathe. And then release, relax, let go. Just let it go. Let's take our right leg or foot against our left thigh, or maybe on top of the left leg, and let's just gently and easily bouncing off our knee, our leg. Keep breathing in and out, deep and conscious. Just to taking the time to really work with your own body. Okay, and then let's let go, release. And relax. Change your side, left foot to the right thigh, on top or against, and gently bouncing off your knee. Lovely. Great. And gently and slowly, let's release, relax. Let's take our legs or feet slightly wide, and then breathe out. When you're ready, breathing in, rolling your legs in, bringing your toes together. And breathe out, roll your legs, your feet out. A few more, breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. And again, breathe in, and then out. And relax. relax. Let's just draw your knees up and down, creating a little bit of flexing or easing. Let's take our right leg or foot to the left thigh again, <coughs> taking a little pause here and then easily bounce forward. It's landing or easing your spine. Just be aware if you feel there's a too much tension because of your sciatica, you can slightly bend your knee. But I'd like you to now just sit up and try to move from the, the crease of your trousers, so really easing your spine, Easing your hamstrings, gradually reaching down to your foot, but really consciously. Take a deep in breath. 
Then breathe out and let go of your head. And then I'd like you to take a moment here. Breathe in your spine, breathe in your leg. Try to let go or release any tension that may have accumulated or built up in there. Going against the conflict, going against the pain to find the ease. That's it. And then gently release. Let's just rise our arms up. And then let go and release. Relax your shoulders. And then change direction. And we're going to switch our side. Our legs. Right foot to the left thigh or on top of right leg. Again, sit straight and let's just easily bounce forward. Again, moving from the hinges of your spine, moving forward, really try to ease your sciatica, ease your nerves, moving forward with the spine. Lovely, you are doing really well. Take a deep in breath. And let's breathe out and let go of your head, let go of your body. And try to find this conscious, easing or letting go in the tension itself. Relaxing and breathing deep, breathing conscious. And then Release, reach your arms forward and let go, release, relax. Let's just come into easy or cross-legged. Okay, let's just sit cross-legged, sitting at ease with ourselves, with our spine lifted. And then take your hands forward and I'd like you to just go through rotating each of your finger clockwise, going into the second and then the third. Opening and closing your fists and then dropping your arm, your hands up and down, moving into your wrists and then side to side. Let's see if you can be fast and then rotate in one direction and then other direction. Lovely. And then your elbows and change direction. And then into your shoulder joints. And change direction. Lovely. And release. Release. Take your arms out to the side. And take a deep in breath. Breathe out. Now breathing and take your right elbow to the floor, raise and lift your left arm over, stretch to the side and then hold into that stretch. Really feel if somebody else is pulling your arm up, giving that deep stretch and stimulation into your shoulder, your arm, all along your waist and breathe in it. And then gently release, we come back to the middle, taking a moment, let's come down to the left side, left elbow to the floor, stretch your right arm over and stretch there for a couple of breaths, hold there for a few breaths, taking a couple of breaths, And then gently release and let go. Come back to seated position. Now bring your hands together and I'd like you to press your palms really strong against each other. Bring your elbows forward. Make it strong. Really give a big stretch into your shoulders. Close your eyes. Now I'd like you to breathe in your shoulders. Breathe in your arms. And then Interlock your fingers, so locking your fingers inside each other and then pull your arms away. 
really simple but it can be quite a profound stretch and feel feel this deep inner tension and try to release in it try to let go of it lovely and release now interlock your fingers turn your palms inside out stretch your arms away from your body push them away now if you feel comfortable with your head and neck take your head behind close your eyes and try to push your arms further forward breathe it's a nice controlled way to give a little tension to our body in a nice way where you know you can relax and then release relax ease your arms taking a little moment now take your right hand to your left shoulder and then use your left hand to the elbow push your arm towards you and let your arm gradually become straight if you wish to but be really careful to the whole area and then if you like to look towards your right shoulder lovely breathe in some of these really simple stretches you can do as and here and there for a couple of minutes it doesn't have to be a long extended practice and release letting go take your left hand to the right shoulder and then use your hand behind your elbow push your arm in and then straight and look towards your left side and hold there breathe into your own shoulder breathe into the tension lovely and release relax now gently press your chin down to your chest and then bring your hands behind your head interlock your fingers and I'd like you to push your hands and your head against each other a little bit and then hold into the tension in your neck and then letting go and release relax take a little moment okay now easily move forward into all fours coming into chaturpadasana the four fitting position just being on our hands and knees is really a nice way to release any tension of our hips any tension of our shoulders and you can give a good massage to our inner organs too let's just let go of our head take a little moment and then if you like now gently move side to side just moving from your hips giving a little massage into your groin your hips a little massage on our knees try to breathe in it try to breathe and relax it just feels nice then you start to gently flex into your elbows and your shoulders keep going just gently flexing your elbows to give a little massage into your shoulders too and remember it's not really that it's about it's not about right and wrong it's just if you can i like you to listen the voice of your body when you begin to do what you feel naturally your body need to be doing to release the tension maybe we can begin to move in a big circle moving back moving forward or you can make two circles, you can make three circles, you can really do what you naturally feel your body need to be doing. It's something easy, just find a minute as and when you need. And something I do certainly recommend if you have to deal with lots of tension all through the day in your life, coming into all fours and doing a little bit of yeah a little bit of simple things as it brings us into the balance balance with the gravity our organs resting with the spine lovely let's come back to our folks you are doing really well are we okay with our shoulders and knees if you need you can always put something under your knees a bit more softer so let go of your head 
Take a moment, then breathe out. Now let's work through our spine and our breathing. Vyagra for the tiger breathing. Breathe in, dip your spine down. So pushing your spine from the middle, lift your head up, sit up, arch your back. Now when we breathe out, we'll pull from the middle, lifting up, lifting up, which naturally draws our chin into our chest. Let's pull out together. Breathe in, dip down, open up. A complete spinal movement. Lovely. Head up, breathe out, rising up. You can even go up on your fingertips if you like to. So breathing and dipping down, open up. Okay, let me demonstrate around so you all can see what we're doing to really go deep through your spine. So when I'm breathing out, I'm going up. So if I feel this is enough, I may just go up to here. Or I can even go on my fingertips. It becomes a really amazing massage through my shoulders, my spine. And then when I breathe in, I want to dip down, taking my head up, arching my back, and lifting up. So it's a really long pull. You should even feel through your diaphragm, your abdominal muscles. So let's try again. Breathe out. In, dip down, and open up. Look up. Arch in your spine with in breath. Now, with out breath, you're going into the reverse. Begin to pull your spine from the middle, go up, chin into your chest on your fingertips. Keep going in, dip down, open up. And we're going to use the side breath to de stress ourselves like. Breathing in, dip down, open up. Inside your breath. Again, breathing and dip down, open up. Inside your breath and press all the tension away. Let's do it together. Lovely. Hold up in the middle. Now let's do a little bit of stretching for our shoulders and especially a really great practice for your hips and the, the, the groin, your hamstrings and as a few of you mentioned about the sciatica, so it can be quite a useful practice to have. So if you want to see first before we do it, so I will tuck my toes on the floor to begin. So what I want to do now, breathe out. Now in breath, my first step is to actually raising my knees up, legs straight. And then from there, if I can, I want to press my heels to the floor. Don't worry if they are halfway up, so you just want to work on it. And then breathing out, we're going to release. So the knees up, legs straight, and then you try to press your heels down. Okay? Let's try. Breathe out. In, knees up, legs straight, and then pressing your heels to the earth. Lovely. And breathe out, heels up, and then knees back to the earth. I like you to do it a few rounds, breathing in knees up and then heels to the floor. And breathe out, knees back down. Again, breathe in, knees up, leg straight and then heels to the earth. And breathe out and let go. Lovely. Let's hold here for a couple of moments. And let's go a little bit more conscious into our work. So, can we just really simply lift our right knee up, so your right leg straight, your toes is still on the floor. And just try to lift your arms up a little bit, so you're nice and straight, chin up, and hold here. Now, can we really gently put a bit more weight on our arms? You can just really think if you're going to also lift your left knee up, Take a bit more weight and breathe. Really giving this deep tension throughout your body and finding a bit of balance. Keep breathing deep. And release. Now we're going to gently roll to our left side, left leg going away a little bit. And see if we can gently take our right arm up and over. Lovely. A gentle side balance. Taking a couple of moments. Breathe. Right. 
and then release, let go. Lovely, all doing really well. Back to the center. Now let's do or work with our left side. Now left leg is straight, your knee up, your toes on the floor, chin up. And then again, press really nicely balanced on both your arms. Think if you're really pressing your hands to the earth head as strong as you can and also your left foot and breathe there. One of the most amazing ways to relax your body is by giving it a controlled tension. Keep breathing. And release. Now we want to gently start to roll to our right side. Your right leg slightly moving away. That's to gently allow you to raise your left arm up. Lovely. And let's hold here for a couple of breaths. Enjoying your balance, enjoying your posture. Taking a couple of breaths. and gently and slowly return back to the middle. Taking a moment. Now, can we easily thread, put our right arm on the floor, taking it across to the left side and let your shoulder come down to the also side of your face or your head resting down here. Lovely. Take a moment. I really want to feel your shoulder, feel your your head and your neck and if you feel comfortable then let's see if we can raise our left arm up to the sky raise your left arm up if you like to putting a little weight on our shoulder or head just to feel feel that control that you have on yourself your life feel that easing and melting away breathe in it And then release. Lovely. Are you okay? Yes, just my shoulder. Okay, let's keep it in here. Coming back up, and then let's try on the left side. So you can just keep keep there, that's fine. Keep your other hand on the floor. And only if you feel comfortable, then you're going to try to raise your other arm up. But if you're not, then please just stay there, that's fine. Remember to do your best and breathe there. And gently and slowly, let's rise back up. Coming back up, and let's just let go now. So you're going to rest back on your heels. Now we have a couple of variations if you all want to see before you go into your posture. Let's keep your head up. So easiest one, we can just pull our arms on the floor, head down. And if you feel this is enough, you just stay there. If you feel you can take a little bit more on your shoulder, then I can bring my hands pointing back there. Or I can actually bring my arms behind my back, interlock my fingers, and then stress them over. Okay, so it's really again a deep stretch and relaxation for shoulders. So choose either your arms is straight, you can point your hands back to your shoulders, or take your arms behind your back and then stress them over. Lovely. Keep breathing. If possible, you would like to keep your buttocks down on your heels. Lovely, you're doing really well. Great, and gently let go your arms. Push on your hands to rise back up. Sit straight, take a moment, have a quick sip of water. Really also important to keep hydrated. It's something very easy to forget, especially with all of your busy life, all the, the good work you do. I can tell you all how easy it is to forget about the simplest of the practice is drinking enough water. And if you can remind yourself to drink a bit of water, 
you already have done quite a lot for your health and well-being. And remember, what seventy percent of your existence actually is the water. So seventy percent of us are water, and the, the water is the one thing people easily forget to drink. And on top of that, around in West Wales, we are so lucky to have the best quality water in the world. Amen. We are so lucky, so we must keep drinking it. Amen. We must. We must. Yeah, you know, we are very lucky here to have the best water. So let's come back to all fours again, if you all are ready and comfortable. And again, taking a little balance, we're going to go a little bit more into the Kriya together, which you all like. So moving a little bit more into our hips, our leg, our side theta. Also a really nice massage through the abdominal and the pelvic muscles too. Head down, breathe out. If you like breathing in, can we raise our right leg and our head up, lift up. And then breathe out and let's see how close we can bring our head and knee together. Lovely, well done everyone. Let's keep going, breathing in, raise up. Nice, and breathe out and drawing your head to the knee. Again, breathe in, raise up. And breathe out. Well done everyone. Let's try the other side now, the left leg, breathe out. Breathing in, raise your left leg and your head up. And breathing out, drawing your head and your knee as close as you can. Again, breathe in, raise and open. And breathe out. In. And out. In. Let's do one more, breathe in, lovely, and breathe out. Take a little moment. Now, can we do a bit on our arms now? So take your right hand slightly sideways if you like, or I like to actually put my palm with palm pointing up towards the left hand. Breathe out. Now, breathing in, let's rise our arm over from the side to the sky. Open and twist through as deep as you can and breathe out and bring your hand where you started. Two more, breathing in, lift and rise up. Lovely, and breathe out, letting go of the tension. One more, breathe in, lift and rise up. And breathe out and let go of the tension. Well done. Let's ease yourself and we switch our side. Bring your left hand towards the right arm, breathe out. Just breathing in, rise, expand and open. And breathe out and release your arm down. Two more, breathe in, open up. And breathe out. And again, breathe in. And breathe out. And then back to the center. Taking a little pause, little moment. Now let's just easily stretch our right leg straight, your toes on the floor. Look forward. Now take a moment. See how you feel. If that feels really comfortable, then you're going to take a little more step to raise your left arm up. So think of right leg, you're going across, not the same side, opposite side. Stretch your left arm, lovely. Now can you think, if somebody's pulling your arm forward and leg back, can give a big tension. These are really amazing isometric stretches. Deeper you can stretch yourself, deeper you will be able to relax. Stimulating your neuromuscular systems and breathing it, lovely. You're doing really well. And release. Just let go. Now, let's switch our side, left leg up, toes set underneath, and when you're ready, take your right arm forward. Pull your arm forward, leg back, and 
try to breathe in it. Our light tension really becomes negative when we stop doing certain things and one of them is breathing. Then our body leaves itself into toxic. So it's almost a challenge changing into a problem. So if you take a challenge and breathe in it, your body will find the way to relax. And again, letting go to release. Relax your knees down, take a moment. Now let's open our knees a little wide, really carefully. Open your knees a bit wide. And then, can we gently, if you want to see what I'm doing, I want to slide my arms forward. Raising my back, my buttocks a little bit more up. And if I can, I want to bring my forehead to the Again, please be really mindful to your shoulders as it is really a deep relief for your shoulders. So going as far as it is safe for you. Head down. Also, it's a relaxing pose for our abdominal or pelvic organs. And slowly rise back up. Take a little moment. From here, when you're ready, take your toes to the floor and we're going to lift our knees up, heels back to the earth. Coming into the middle, the mountain, and take a couple of breaths here. Breathing in and out, deep and conscious. Can we gently walk our feet to our hands? So meeting our feet and our hands together, take your time. Joining your hands and your feet together. And when you're ready, let go of your head, head to our knees. And we take a couple of conscious breaths. A little bit of mindful awareness. Really letting go, easing your spine, easing your hips, and breathing it. And let's just gently and slowly rise up to stand up right. Stand up on your feet. Well done, everybody. Taking a little moment, taking a couple of breaths. Just to allow your body to change, to adjust. Again, have a sip of water if you need, and we're going to continue a bit more. All good? And I'm doing a little bit of stronger work. If you all begin in a nice way, hopefully it doesn't feel like we're doing anything too dangerous. <laughs> and in my plan, I'm trying to just teach you three really few basic things that then you can do them in your own time the ideal way is just like if you can remember like one or two stretches and do it few minutes here, few minutes there and have a little relaxation and if you can sort of take the practice in that way throughout the day then you will learn to de-stress yourself and you will feel a bit more stronger and then as it now and then I guess doing a full practice, full class obviously is a blessing <laughs> you know giving yourself a full break so let's come back to where we were. So let's do a little bit of fun again in standing. So take your balance on your right leg if you like. Bring your left leg forward, finding the balance and then flex your foot up and down. Again, these are more like practices we do like little babies, little children, to be a child again. You don't have to always be a grown up sort of stuck into something of right, wrong and can I do this, can I do that. You know, the easiest way to distress yourself is just listening to the body and doing these silly things. And let's give a good shake to your leg, shake your leg, a really good shake. And feel the vibration. Feel the vibration. <laughs> nice. And release. Take your balance on your left leg. And then take your right leg forward, gently flexing your foot. 
So this sort of movement can really help to, to release all this build up tension, the crystals or the toxins we build from food, tension, lifestyle. And so it's just finding a moment and I give a really good stick to your leg and again really feel the vibration, feel the sticking, the vibration and enjoy being with yourself and release. Let's just gently walk our knees up and down and breathe out with a little bit of side breath. Let's walk our feet, our legs out, be a little bit more funny, walk them in and out. Let's have a bit of fun. Again, there is no right and wrong. Let's speed up. Out, bend your knees a little bit. Okay, let's walk sideways, walk away, walk in, walk out, arms up. And then begin to shake your hands as you're bouncing on your feet. Shake, 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 pull around. Let's speed up a bit. And then can we make a bit of noise if you don't mind? The sound ha, 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 you stimulated your whole body, how much you stimulated your mind, especially your heart, feels good isn't it, this is so simple and the practice is to not being stuck into something because we are so conditioned to be like like this and one of the practices at the moment I find it so interesting when you have like five minutes for yourself close the door and find your quietest place and do what you really feel your body need to be doing I don't know screaming shouting shaking jumping up and down be like a baby and this is a new practice I learned few weeks ago from my youngest boy yeah Krishna and he's not really he's very intelligent but he's not interested much in learning things the way we, we teach people these days so he gets easily frustrated in his school and he gets tensed and we were talking about you know because he had the, the grading seat and on the grading seat he got the below average on cooperation and I was talking to him like, oh, he's such a lovely boy. How you are so uncooperative with people? And he's telling me like, wait, I don't like learning things when they're the way they try to teach me. It's just not my thing. So then they think I'm uncooperative, but actually I'm not. And I'm like, so what do you do? And he was teaching me this practice to distress. So he has to find a quietest corner and scream as loud and shake and like, Aah! so let's do that. So we're going to do the sound, ah. Okay, and try to really be a youngest of the child you can remember in yourself where you are free. You had that liberation of like, there is no personality, there is no right or wrong, there is no, nothing to prove in life, is it? Especially when it comes to de-stressing or self-letting go. So let's begin with this, begin to shake your hands, also paddling your knees and then begin to make the sound and you can do whatever you feel to do. <laughs> Make a bit more vigorous noise. Let's do it together. <laughs> Great. And then hold it still. Just to feel, really feel how you're feeling. Breathe in it. Okay, let's come back. So we'll do a really simple variation of Surya Namaskar together if you like. Come at front of your space. Hope you're feeling a little bit yeah. stripping off like an onion, I call it. <laughs> Not being caught up. 
hands to heart. Let's breathe out. When you're ready, breathe in, raise your arms up and over to the sky. Look up. Open your palms in a big circle and fold forward. You can bend your knees a little bit, but keep your spine straight if possible, head to the knees. Breathe in, look forward. Halfway up, planting your palms to the earth and step your right leg back. Be down. Let's take a moment here. Giving you a little bit of time when you're ready. Let's see if you can come forward a little bit, but really careful with your knees. Move your hands back with it. Nice. Take a moment. Great. Let's come back. Now be really strong on your hands. Plant your palms to the earth. And then you take your right leg up and move your left leg with it. Taking a step forward to bring your heels to the earth. Now bend your knees a little bit so you can see through your arms, so we can see what we're doing next. So we're going to bring our knees down, so coming into like a forfeited. And then if I bend my elbows to bring my chin and chest up. And then I ease through and press up into the cobra. Again, take a really conscious movement and then rise back up. Back to mountain. Taking a little movement here, and then you step your right foot forward. Bring your right foot towards your hands. Take your time. Left knee down when you're ready. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's doing really well. And then come down into the lunge. Arch back. Taking a little movement. And then we step forward. Take your time to bring your both legs together. And then head to the knees. Breathing in, rise your arms over to the sky. Look up. And then let's first go on our arms in a big circle. Back to heart. Let's do one more. Breathing in, reaching our arms over. Look up. Breathing out and fold forward. Head to the knees. Breathing in, look forward. Now if you see what I'm doing, we're just bending our knees and then we step our leg back. So from here bend your knees and then step your leg back. Lovely. Now knee down, knee down, back knee down. And then let's see if you can stretch a little bit, but really carefully. Lovely. Take a moment and then we come back. Now being strong on our hands to walk our feet, our legs together into the plank and then stepping forward to middle. Taking a couple of breaths. And from there, let's drop our knees down, coming to the old four. Now if you can, bend your knees and let's see if we bring our chin towards the earth. And then ease yourself, lie nice and easy on your plank. <laughs> Take your time, it's fine. Okay, you're doing well. Oh, like a snake. <laughs> yeah, and then press up. That is snake. Oh, is it? Yeah. And then gently rise up. And then tuck your toes to the floor to lift your knees up. And then you're going to press your heels to the floor if you can. Bend your knees, look through your arms so you can see what we're doing. Now we're going to step, pull our left leg forward. Your left leg forward, take your time, drop your back knee on the floor, that's it, and then bring your foot forward. So from there, bring it forward. If you need to stay where you are, that's fine. That's it, and then come down into the lungs. Nice. And then lovely. And we come back. Legs is straight. And to do that, head to the knees. And then breathe in, rise your arms over to the sky. And let's let go. And release. Take a little moment just to find that balance. See if you all like to take your legs a little wider. So if you feel you want to turn sideways on your yoga space, maybe slightly easy. Ideally, you want to really take your feet as wide as you wish to, where you're still comfortable, just to be 
sure about your groin and your hamstrings, your sciatica. And to ease our, our back and our hips, we're going to again let our hands slide along our legs. Keep going, keep going as far as it is safe for you. And finally, let go of your head. Now, all you really want to do is let go of your upper body to the gravity. And then breathe deep. Breathe in your spine, breathe in your legs. Come halfway up, look forward. Keep holding onto your legs. Now, if I can hold on to my right leg, and let's see if I can take my left arm up. Lovely, creating a really lovely twist. Breathe. And then release. Holding on to the left leg and then take your right arm up from side up to the sky. Holding there for a couple of breaths. down and bring your palms on the floor in the middle and straight under your shoulders you can bend your knees a little bit if you need and again let's see if we can take our left arm up from the side and over lovely and breathe here great let's come back and we switch our arms take your right arm up Breathing into your twist, breathing into your pose. And again, release. Reach out, catch hold onto your legs so your ankle joints, and then pull forward, head towards the knees. And breathe here. Take your palms back to the earth. Now let's pull. Walk our feet a little bit, a couple of steps in, and then bend your knees. And let's see how far we can sit back. Nice. Take a moment. Really be careful getting a bit of half weight on your arms, half on your knees or your heels. If you feel comfortable, you can just try to sit upright. Okay, are you comfortable with your heels? If you are, then we're going to take our hands to the heart. If not, please stay there, that's fine. I'm going to try to press our knees and elbows to each other. Lovely. Breathe. And release. Again, palms. One, two, two hand steps forward. And then again, let's stretch our legs straight. Feet pointing forward. Again, head down towards our knees. Taking a little moment, a few conscious breaths. Lovely. And again, release. Knees down, open your knees out. This time, can we keep our heels up? Just do a little bit of weight on your tiptoes, but really, really carefully. That's it. Just go as far as it is for you. Breathe there. Can we move forward a little bit? Put a bit weight on your arms. But again, really carefully if you feeling I can see the wrists are a bit uncomfortable, you can come on your fists instead. Just try to put a bit of weight. Yeah, you can go up and you can fly if you like, that's fine. Some of you maybe I can see if you want to, you can just gently balance your knees on top of your arms and float your feet up. Lovely. And gently release. Well done, everyone. I love that smile on your face. Ease your son, <laughs> ease your legs to the front. That's a nice part. Give it really good shaking, 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 bouncing of your knees. Now let's boost any stagnant energy out. So that's what we do for the relaxation. So you can see what we do. We breathe in and draw our head, knee, and arms together. Give it a good squeeze. And whoosh away and let go like this. Okay, and then you need to be. It's really like it's all the stagnant energy. I mean, you need to think. You really had enough of it. 
and you don't belong to it anymore and if you don't belong to it you'd like okay so let's do right leg left leg right leg left leg and we keep pushing it out so breathe out right leg in let go lovely left leg again right leg really try to liberate yourself left leg let it go right leg don't be shy left leg lovely that's great now let's get really... another one then let's get to do another one oh, do one more no, 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 no. <laughs> so now it's time you can find a really space for relaxation and if you want can lie down with head to that side to the north and feet away please and it really helps to align your body and your energy with the gravity same for you if you possible you can lie down in your head to the north and feet to the south but if your room does not allow then just be wherever you are to relax find a space yeah stop back here Lie down. Yeah, lie. Will lie down? Yeah. So lying really comfortably. Please use cushions, pillows under your back, your hips, anything that you need to do for relaxation. Taking a moment. And again, I'd like you to have that, have a minute at least to really scan through your body and see if anything you feel you need to do, maybe a bit of twist or a stretch, not letting any tension to, to sink into your body. Whatever form of exercise we do, either see yoga, gym, running, even the life has its own exercise every day too. And we always go through some stress, some strain. The practice is not ever letting that stress and strain to sink or to settle in your body. Letting go. Just letting go all the way from head to the feet and feet to head. Let go, let go and relax. Just let go and relax. Also, if you're comfortable, uncomfortable on your back, feel free to lie down on your side. That's okay. It's more important to actually relax. Just let go and relax your whole body. Let go and relax. And I'd like you to feel the letting go. Can you feel your whole body in this beautiful space of letting go? Feel your whole body in this space of letting go. To begin with, you can just feel your back. You are resting on against the floor where you're not holding anymore. You are just letting go, letting go, letting go of yourself. you're letting go try to breathe breathe deep breathe conscious to really see how you're feeling or how your body mind your energy responding to your letting go Once you let go of your body, can you all softly and gently bring your mind, your awareness into your heart? Bring your
your mind, your awareness into your heart and pay your attention, your focus there. Pay your attention or your focus into your heart. all your attention to your heart and if you can try to visualize a beautiful lotus or maybe your own favorite flower that you like try to visualize a flower that you love blossoming blossoming in abundance in your heart taking you into deep deep relaxation inner peace or inner tranquility putting all your attention your focus in visualizing this beautiful lotus or the beautiful flower blossoming in your heart i want to leave you all in this beautiful space for a few minutes enjoy your own place enjoy your own spirit and enjoy the sound